Hello there my fellow creators, this is the ASUS ProArt PA169CDV and while it does come with a horrible name, almost everything about it is simply amazing. I've been using this little guy for a few months now and it has been a reliable companion both in the studio and while at CES or for video and photo shoots outside of these very walls. At its core, this is a 4K IPS 15.6 inch monitor that you can use for pretty much everything. In addition to some pretty extensive software features and connectivity options, it comes with clever mounting solutions, an integrated stand and pre-calibrated color profiles. And if you're not hooked yet, it is even touch and pen enabled, making it the perfect editing tablet for your notebook or even your desktop setup. The super sleek screen is very well made and despite what it offers in terms of features, it is just 12mm thin and weighs just a little over 1kg, which is definitely handy if you use this thing on shoots and assignments. I had the ProArt with me in New York for some CES pre-briefings and as part of my editing setup during the actual show in Vegas. And it's quite awesome to be able to easily double your notebook screen real estate without overloading your carry-on luggage. The 4K screen comes with two integrated stands, one perfectly aligned to use it as a second monitor and another one for editing with the Wacom EMR pen. The screen is also laminated and has a semi-matte coating to reduce reflections and for even more flexibility when using this puppy it includes a connection shared by quite a few camera rigging thingies. So for example I use this Minfrotto mini tripod which is actually for smartphones which allows even more flexibility when positioning the ProArt on my desk and during my recent trip to LA to finish most of our CES coverage, I also use this as a monitor to see myself when recording our talking heads. Thanks to its full size HDMI port, I could easily connect it to our Blackmagic cinema camera and take full advantage of the much larger screen when filming on location outside of our studio. You can also connect it to your notebook or desktop using the very same HDMI, but you could also use just a single USB-C cable for power, data and a display signal, which is especially great for notebook usage. As you might know, my background before taking over this channel was in high-end photo retouching and during that time I tried a lot of different digital pen tablets. The ProArt is betting on Wacom's EMR technology, which is a passive approach compared to ASUS's own active pens or what Microsoft is using with its Surface products for example. And while those do work well enough, Wacom's tech just feels a lot more direct and precise. And you never have to worry about charging your pen, which you can also easily and securely store on the screen directly. The pen itself has a little over 4000 pressure points and it worked perfectly well for what I was doing in Photoshop for example. Next to the display and power connections, this screen comes with some pretty intuitive buttons to navigate the on-screen menu. I must admit that I am not the biggest fan of the dial and would have rather preferred simple up and down buttons. The wheel felt a bit clunky in general, even though it did get the job done to set brightness levels and switch between different pre-calibrated presets. And man, these presets are a godsend, especially if you work on notebooks without them. In something like Resolve 18 for example, they are incredibly helpful for coloring our footage for the channel. If you do not want to use the ProArt to display actual content, ASUS also allows you to customize the screen with various control dials, sliders and buttons. To be honest, I did not dive into it that much since I am a creature of habit and prefer my shortcuts, but if you really want to spend some time with it, you get support for a wide range of creative applications. But let's finally see what the screen can deliver in our measurements. It's definitely not the brightest and if you work in a room with lots of windows, you definitely want to be careful with your positioning. While I would wish for higher color gamut coverage in Adobe RGB for photo content, it's definitely more than usable for an external screen. Factory calibration is also acceptable, though you can tune things further with manual calibration and significantly reduce delta ease for color critical work. Alrighty folks, it's already about time to wrap up today's video. I know this thing might be pretty niche, but if you are a creator like me and need a super flexible screen as an on-camera control monitor, editing pen tablet, desktop extension while traveling or all of the above for your desktop setup, well, this one ticks all the boxes. It's not a cheap option, but you will also have a very hard time finding a similarly well-specced and featured screen tablet anywhere on the market and I will have a very hard time sending this one back. But let me know how you would use such a portable screen, sound off in the comments below. That should be it for today, thanks a ton for watching, please use that like and sub button on your way out and I'll catch you all in the next one. Take care.